will be delivered in three, two, one. Chino Valley Fire District is the heart of the valley. It's the heart of the valley because we provide service to the city of Chino, city of Chino Hills, and the unincorporated area of San Bernardino County. Part of being the heart of the valley is obviously is, is saving lives, is helping people to, to be trained and ready to, to jump in if there is a need, but it's also about engaging with the community and, and I think we do a good job of that. We are truly the heart of the Chino Valley. We have wonderful employees, wonderful community members that are very engaged with us. The Chino Valley Fire District is the heart of the valley, and we're going to continue to work hard to provide you with innovative technology to push us through to the future. Um, as things evolve, we need to keep up with, with new opportunities and new ways to to innovate and be ready to serve the community. And part of that is IT and technology driven. Our goal is to place at least one AED and trauma kit in a, in a business every month. We have staff, we have paramedic firefighters who are ready to go out and distribute those and do training on site to have people prepared and comfortable, ready to use those pieces of equipment as we place them. Pulse Point is an, is an app that you can download on any smartphone. And what it does is it tells you where a cardiac event might be happening in the community. So if you're by there, and if you have the training, the hands-only CPR training, you can actually go and assist and try to save somebody's life before the first responders can get on scene to take over. Another way we're using technology is with the auto pulse. In the past, our firefighter paramedics would have to manually perform CPR on the patient on the way to the hospital we would have to stop those CPR compressions while they're being loaded into the ambulance. Now we get the patient stabilized, we attach the auto pulse on them, and they continue to receive the compressions on the way to the hospital. The station alerting system we had has become obsolete. We were going to have to replace that anyhow, and now with CONFIRE, we've replaced it and we have state-of-the-art uh, notification in our stations. What it does is it will alert the unit that's supposed to be dispatched and not alert everybody. So it's one of those things that directs it right to the appropriate unit and again everything we do is saving seconds off our response times. We've had a huge undertaking to reduce our response times as much as possible. Uh, this actually goes back several years to the transition to paramedic squads. Uh, part of that was to provide better coverage to the community uh, and a greater number of units available for a response. It's absolutely critical that we arrive on scene rapidly, uh, provide care, and get that patient to the appropriate destination uh, as quickly as possible to provide for the best possible outcome for them. We recently transitioned to CONFIRE. CONFIRE is Consolidated Fire Agencies, and that's a communication center made up of a number of agencies in San Bernardino County. It's a joint powers authority. We're able to implement a number of programs in a fire district. For instance, the, they call it AVL, it's the Automatic Vehicle Locator. They will actually dispatch the closest emergency vehicle to an event versus what geographic station is by there. Chino Valley is unique because it borders LA, uh, San Bernardino, Orange, and Riverside. Four counties are involved at times in those incidents. So the coordination for that occurs here. There is a dedicated dispatcher for the Chino Valley and west part of uh, San Bernardino County. When they do get a call, if it's a medical call, they go through a very thorough uh, vetting process. They try to determine you know, as close as possible what the emergency is, the severity of the emergency, so we can re uh, respond the right resource to that, to that emergency. Uh, we have just an outstanding crew here at CONFIRE. They are fully accredited with that EMD program, the Emergency Medical Dispatch Program. They've been accredited three times now. They're top of the line. We're happy to serve the community of Chino Valley Fire and those two communities that they serve and look forward to a long relationship.
Anything that can be done prior, prior to our arrival that's a life-saving function definitely increases survivability of the patient. With the Bleed Safe community, the Heart Safe community, and Pulse Point, these are all designed to bring community interaction with the fire service and with Chino Valley Fire District. What this does is this trains and allows our residents to respond in and decrease that amount of time that that person is there, whether it's a sudden cardiac arrest or if it's a trauma event, allow them to perform life-saving functions prior to our arrival. The goals of the Heart Safe and Bleed Safe programs are, are many. First of all, we want to make sure we are equipped and trained as well as we possibly can be to, to respond and to help when we're called. But we also want to train the public. In fact, we've trained over a thousand people already in our communities to, to provide hands-only CPR. And so we want to train people, have them ready, have them feel comfortable and, and empowered to, to help people should they have a situation arise where they need that kind of assistance. This year was a stellar year for programming with the Chino Valley Fire District. They're going to be coming to one of our city council meetings to uh, do the CPR training um, demonstrations. So yeah, this year for education, um, they knocked it out of the park. Very pleased. There is um, a golden hour that is critical in survival of, say, a heart attack or brain aneurysm. That golden hour, the response of those around the victim is critical. Through absolutely phenomenal training, the fire department has reached out to the public to train people how to stop bleeding and how to respond to a heart attack so that they can step in in those critical minutes before the fire department can get there to help ensure people's survival. As the Chino Valley Fire District becomes more proactive in the training of our residents and equipping our residents, they're actually teaching us how to become first responders ourselves. Placing automatic defibrillators, trauma kits throughout the community makes us all able to help be that first responder. I would encourage our residents and our businesses to access everything available that the fire district has. Go to their website, look at the classes that are offered, look at the training that's offered. It'll help you save a loved one. It'll help you save a stranger in case of a disaster. You don't know at any time, any place, when those skills are needed. And it's really all of our responsibility to be trained and know what's going on. And the fire district has so much to offer. This district, it's a special district. The monies that we have, are, they're entrusted to us from the public. They count on us to use those monies wisely, to invest them wisely, so that when they call, we're ready. We're there, we can respond, and we're capable and able to help them. So we take that very serious that we're entrusted with these funds and that we use them wisely. So new this year, and I'm very excited about this, is the district transparency portal on the website. So it contains all of our financial documents, our comprehensive annual financial report, our budget documents, contains minutes of meetings, notices of upcoming meetings and agendas, human resources policies. It's really a, a very user-friendly, one-stop shop so that members of the public can click on that link and have virtually any and all information they need to understand the district and most importantly, to demonstrate our commitment to transparency. Transparency is very important to this district and this board. We've earned awards for our efforts and it is something that we value and we, we desire and we work toward. Uh, the board recently passed a responsible balanced budget for our 2019-2020 year. The budget process is a six month long process that involves all of our different departments who give input and consider their goals and their needs as we develop the budget. The budget's then presented to the board in a workshop and we encourage the public to come and attend and participate and see what's going on and understand the budget, ask questions and get answers to their question. Uh, we also encourage you to go to our website and, and look at the budget there. The State of the Fire District 2019, we have made amazing progress in outreach in our community. Our fire personnel and fire district um, family being out in the community, it's very important. The Chino Valley Fire District truly is the heart of Chino Valley. They truly bring us all together for all the right reasons, for philanthropy, for giving back, and for protecting us. 
every year things just get better and better uh, in the district that trickles down to our community of Chino Hills. Whether it be uh, new programs to keep everybody safe, um, continued invol involvement in nonprofit uh, organizations. Our firefighters are very well known in our community because even when they're not on duty, you see them giving back to the community and that's what makes this district so special is that they're part of our family in Chino Hills. We have a unique situation here. This is not something you find in every community where we have such a great working relationship with all these different entities. And I think because of that, our communities are safer and better prepared. Chino Valley Fire District is part of the West End of San Bernardino that is just going like gangbusters right now. We have great projects coming in. The airport's taken off. We have Prado Park that's going to be taken off. We have approximately two or 300,000 new residents in the 4th District over the next coming years. It has to grow and adapt all the time with this, but they're doing a fantastic job of staying ahead and being there ready for us as we grow. I see a lot of things happening and a lot of direction we're headed to. Our survivability rates have increased through training, through, through innovation, through the things we do with technology. The things we're doing today were just absolutely unheard of 20 or 30 years ago. We meet with the fire district, the city does, quarterly. Uh, to review current issues, what's coming up. Uh, the challenges of today and tomorrow are very different than they were 20 years ago, and they're going to continue to evolve. And I'm, I'm very pleased that the fire district has grown to meet those needs. The fire district is moving forward in great positive ways through succession development, through new equipment, through better social media interaction, through utilizing technology. We are truly the heart of the Chino Valley.